In this video, I'll show you how a veteran comp player by the name of Damage went rogue and tried to use wall hacks in a tournament match. Sadly for him, he made it a tiny bit too obvious. One of the people he played against was a friend of mine, Array Gamer, a top tier blight player which showed me the games. At first, I could not believe what I was seeing with someone with such a list of tournament achievements and over 9000 hours really cheat in a tournament setting. After watching the games a few dozen times, I am convinced that the answer to this is yes. I asked a lot of my high hour friends about their opinion and all of them agreed that this is not normal gameplay. On that very day, he actually did not play on his main account, that account got hacked and he was playing on a 6 day old smurf. I hope you enjoy. Right, and welcome back everyone. We have Demon Heads on the Cert Killer with the Western coming through against overheated survivors. Now let's see how they can do. We do see Corrupt Spot on the bottom side of the map. He does break these doors at May to make these easier to get around. And we see that he is now off to the races, seeing what he can find. Does spot Kate around Kill Shack. Does that mean there's going to be a head on player on there? That is quite curious. He doesn't want to fall for it. It's going to be going around. Will be doubling back to where the Kate is, but he will be trying to bounce through. Does know where the Kate is. Caesar on the other side will vault through that window. It is this going to be a head on play whatsoever, or will this? He's avoiding the locker. He knew Mine I was in there, by the way. By the kill, by the survivors to get that through. And then it immediately disappeared. We don't know now know that Adam does have their head on. To me, leaving two survivors as Shaq is an incredibly strange decision without any information where the others are. There are two gens mid-map, one on the right and one by water tower. But he never actually looked at the right one, instead hyper-focused on the left one where survivors actually working. Keep in mind that survivors could have also gone up to the top side of the map and not work either of those gens. He is going to be wary of these lockers, does hear that this gen is being worked on, and unfortunately the Wesker does not know where the Dwight is. He could either be working the main gen or the one to the right of it, but he seems to be very sure which one to go to. The Dwight is, he's looking around, did find out where he is. Gonna be working that one gen already up on top of the hill, dropping down. No, he ran around. Now he's inside of main going. He's gonna look to cut him off, ensure that he cannot work any of those gens. Does find a gen here, he does, does see two nearby and also one to his left. And he's going to be chasing after this Adam as well, but he's going to be make, doubling back to ensure that this ace cannot work that gen, but the ace well done of dodging that hit, watching him. Watch how he tracks literally every survivor with his camera movement, even the ones he can't see. Coming through! Man's going crazy, Swifty has not let this man live. And he says, no, we're going to be winning this as best we can. Looking around, seeing what he can find. They are at this island. to spot the kid out there, but the Adam is over there and does take the first hit by Rezzy. The Wesker is looking at the survivor positions and nothing else. And out of nowhere starts going for a survivor he could not possibly know the position of, even looking straight at him through the wall while charging his power. I need help. I don't have, like, I don't have a build for thing. I'm at five door. Yeah, I'm with Rezzy, we're going down three I'm right coming now. through three, yeah. Is I tower four, Rezzy? Okay. Chuggis. Chuggis will be running away, splitting off into a separate direction than the Atom is, ensuring they can't get any further. However, he's going to be going back after this Atom, ensuring he can't get away. He does not want Rezzy to go, and he is going to be targeting him out and trying to get him tunneled out of here. We do see the firecracker going down. Does not pop in time. However, he makes his way around. We'll be able to dodge that, and he will be able to make it around the second corner, forcing the west. At first, it looks like the Wesker wants to go to the gen by the hill, but then changes his mind and makes the perfect read to interrupt the duo working the main gen. Going to the hill gen would have been horrible as it was about to be completed. Not know I wonder if they know this door, that the doors are broken. Yes, they do. They are looking around, seeing what they can do. However, there's not a lot if he gets around this corner, but because of that, he was able to get back inside the main to dodge that bound. And we do see the pallet coming through, or the vaccine coming through as well for Rezzy. Was able to get that, but that is going to be a hit right there. And now he is kind of zoned out, but we'll be able to get this. The hitbox coming clutch on Swifty. I will be looking at hang him right here. No, he will be taking him a little bit further in, looking to see what he can find. He is looking around currently, what gens are being worked. He does know this 9 gen is at 50%. Will it be the one that gets pain res? 
No, it was not. It was the, gonna be the one in five in the corner towards Kill Shack. Oh my god, and they're just gonna do that right. Damage rushes directly to the healing spot by Shack without having direct information on the reset position and even starts looking straight at them before ever getting line of sight. Oh, fuck, ton of info. Ah! I'm gonna go save uh Come back, let's come back. Charge up this bounty and show that he can't do anything, but does dodge it a hit. Well played by Chungus. Ensuring that he has to break this pallet, taking him back towards the killer shack. I wonder if he's going to see that if there's a second survivor in that area to get that rescue on Swifty. However, he will be chasing him. He will choose to vault the window instead. We'll be looking for this one, and he chooses to go all the way around. We'll be looking around, see what he can find, but he decides to drop chase onto the kid. He does not want it. He does find them where the Dwight is, and ensuring that he can't go anywhere. But that means that it's only up to Rezzy to get Swifty off the hook. No, we do see the Chung is going towards that direction, going for the rescue, but we'll be trying to avoid it to the best of his abilities. He is currently zoned out away from it. However, he's going to immediately get dropped. He's going to secure this second hook state. The Wesker keeps looking back at the water tower while having no line of sight on anything. A survivor could easily just go and rescue, but he comes back at the perfect time to interrupt Dwight. He managed to get the hit through the Dwight. No body blocking needed for that one. It was quite unfortunate how that ended up happening, but he is going to look around to see where the Dwight is around this corner. It will be pulling up the tentacles, ready to bound around, and we'll get the- Oh no, he might have- After hooking Kate, even though both survivors seem to be going to the right, the Wesker instantly goes left to cut off Dwight. Both survivors who are not in chase or on the hook are to the right of the chase. Adam on the main building gen, Ace on the hill next to it getting a spray. Pay close attention how often his camera prints over there. He will be breaking the pallet immediately going after him. However, Chungus is on hook and they are far away. Does manage to get that drop, that bolt in time to dodge. Well played by the Dwight Alator guy really showing him what it's all about. He does show off where he is, but he actually pre-drops that one. Now he's going to be going around, and he won't be able to make this one. He immediately gets hit, and Chungus might be going second as well, unless he manages to see where it is. Can we get a rescue in time before Chungus goes to the second hook set? Yes, we will be. We did see that survivor going for that rescue. You know he's about to pull up his Sunko as soon as he gets that second bounty. He knows they're going to be going into this jungle gym, going all the way around, but he's now mind-gaming it. And he does manage to catch the gate out. He does see someone on top of the hill as well. We do see another gen pop as well. And he does manage to get the Kate right here. And Chungus, you are going to be going on your second hook by Fred. That is immediately going to be a hook over here. Looking around. And that is going to be an immediate unhook onto Pallet Tour Guide at the same moment in time. They're doing a fantastic job at dodging the second bounce. But it is tough going through. Looking to see what he can find. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't, unfortunately how it be. He will be looking around, seeing what he can find. He's going to be mind gaming this window. He does manage to hold it, but he will be able to make this pallet in time. Well played by the survivors. They're going to be running around, seeing what they can do to dodge. And he decides to jump off the pallet. Oh, but he's going to be taking this window now because of it. But will that be a hit? No, it won't. He is too far away. Atrangus has been staying on the sick for a little bit. He does see Adam in the area. Going to try and head him off, prevent any rescues from coming through. He looks straight at a water tower and after that decides he has enough time to break the pallet even though he can't really see anything. <laughs> we do see the Adam over on that gym. We also see another survivor to his left. But he decides not to chase the survivor. He goes after the Adam. He wants that person, everyone, to be injured. Does see someone going for the rescue and that does appear to be Swifty. Seeing if he could get to there in time. But unfortunately, Chungus is sent back to the campfire. The energy claims another victim. He's going to be looking around, seeing what he can find, but well dodged by Swifty, not letting him get anywhere with that. He will be forced to take this vault, however, that is going to immediately send him into here. He's going to be chased out, looked around, and prevented. And now this is going to be a quick down. There's nothing more Swifty can do. No resources to use. An immediate grab, pull, and he is going to be going and trying to hook him immediately. Now with Chungus already dead, that only leaves... Rezzy and Pallet Tour Guide, the Dwight left. But they have, do have to go and find a way. They do get another gen pop, so that is going to be two jets left remaining. However, he's looking around to see what he can find. He does found out the Adam who does get the Pallet stun in time. However, he's going to be looking around trying to run. Without ever seeing the Adam, he perfectly dashes onto his position. Even looks over at Dwight's position beforehand. He does end up breaking that. He will be looking around to see what he can find.
that back there. You're going to scare him off and ensure he doesn't get any closer to that. As the Wesker keeps looking back and forth between Adam and Dwight without ever seeing Adam's position. Look how he focuses on the far lane next to Shaq. I to let him die. Unfortunate with Swifty now getting sent back to the campfire. Adam does get spotted out at the killer shack. And now he's zoned out of the air. He cannot do anything. It's going to take this M1 almost immediately. However, now that he's straight lined at the Adam, cutting him off from Shaq without ever seeing him. There's still a lot of resources used on that right side of the map, but he decides to not chase that. He knows that there's a lot of resources over there, and it's not worth the chase. He does see where Dwight is. He does know Dwight wants this gen badly, but misses up the second bounce, so he's unable to get the hit. Now he's being chased down this way. Will he get that bloodlust hit? No, he will be faking it. Not doing the moonwalk, but the double bolt coming through, but the poke goes. Oh my god. It isn't enough. Now he just needs that fight where Adam is, and Adam's already injured. All it takes is a one, and this might be a 4k2 for Demon Head's win. I'm seeing if we can find out where Rezzy is. Rezzy is currently, we did spot him out right there against the backside of the uh, main. He will be looking around, seeing what he can do. He will be bounding all the way to him. We'll be looking to see what he can do, but Rezzy is holding those check spots greatly. And he will be looking around, and unfortunately, the mind game, the 50-50 was not in his favor. Now, there was a second game in the set in which Damage played Blight, and his plays were equally perfect. Maybe Jones League. I am your host for today, Demi underscore GOC, and we are starting up. Yeah, yep. you can. I played him, played him, played him, played him. I got on main though. Right. Rezzy's chase. They chase top mid, two and main. Rezzy, if you're going check, let me know. I am gonna go check after this spot. Yeah, go, go bottom. Go, go. Chase, go bottom. Done by Rezzy, waiting that out and anticipating the blight rush and the blight decides to drop chase immediately does not want any of the smoke he's making after deciding to leave blight effectively ignored three gens that were closer to him and is beelining straight to the only gen that is being progressed main, he sees me main actually i'm gonna take over one for you i'm gonna bl down i'm so being patient i'm just waiting yeah let me get that side uh pallet save it I stunned him. You can double this with me if you want pallet, it's fine. Do a pallet! Oh, the generator is gonna regress by 10% as the base kit. Now we have- Main, 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 main. On me. Double down. I got the stun. The pallet stun and the flashlight blind coming through as well. This is really tough and a chain blind preparing him to doing anything, but his game sense is on point. Even blinded, he knows to kick that gen. Does run all the way past that. Almost barely misses the bump, but gets it right in time. Running through here, trying to get this hit. And we'll get the free hit onto Chunga's TTV. We are going to see a quick gen pop as well, showing up that gear head really quick. Ensuring that they don't get any information. Oh, we, we hear a vault as well, and that is a quick light. But he will be able to get this in a pallet stun at the end, but the hit through is not what they want to see. So far, the blight had perfect rotations. Even predicting the Ada to be behind the L wall, he does not waste any time looking around. He just rushes straight from survivor to survivor, ignoring unprogressed gens entirely. I understand your pain, Blight. I, I, this is why I don't touch Blight. We do see the resets coming through on Chung as the Swifty does get caught out right there, and he will be running back in. Damage had no way of knowing that Ace was behind this pool, but luckily he checks it and finds Ace in a horrible spot. We do know another's nearby, and there's Rezzy right nearby, running away immediately to prevent anything from happening. Now he will be chasing after Rezzy to ensure that he does go down and does get the down. However, this might result in a single person getting a hook if they do rotate around for the pickup onto Swifty. But he will be hooking right next to where Swifty is, making that incredibly more dangerous. I do not hear anyone running. Even though he has a slug next to the main building, he does not look around at all. And after that, he rushes away from both of them. The Ada, who does a lock, quick locker tech to dodge a hit, will be able to make this window. And it's a swing and a miss. Oh my god, the rescue coming through on Rezzy. Swifty's still down. However, he's going to be chasing this down. He's going to be also be looking for it, seeing if he can get this Kate. Chungus is going to take the hit. I'm going to run... Oh, far, far away. And this is going to be an immediate pickup onto him. Now it's going to be an immediate hook as well. We do see the yellow on those jets, knowing eruptions is in play. And we do have a renewal on Pop Goes the Weasel. And we still see Chuggis running around. But oh my god, on the log, it comes Rezzy. He knows it. Two extremely wild rushes straight onto survivors. First on the Ada, instead of going back to the slugged ace, he leaves the scene to catch Ada off guard. Afterwards, he perfectly predicts Nia being behind the locker. Very wild stuff. 
Messes up the blight entirely. D3 cannot deal with all those sound cues. That was entirely unexpected. I do not blame the man, but the thing is, he is missing these slot. These bumps are killer. He's not able to bump anything as was missing the slide, but he does have two hook states without a single gen popping so far. He's doing quite well, and he does have now have three injured. He is going to force resets, go after Rezzy as well. Ensure this man can't get any further. Does take the bump, and we do see him going around trying to play this TNL perfectly. And the moonwalk coming through with the rush. Oh my god, it was beautifully done, but Rezzy had it scouted. Now we'll be kicking that using the pop to redress that by 30%. We do see resets coming through onto Swifty as well. Does have two hook states right now. He is in a good spot. Does catch up the Ada, but misses with the rush. Oh my god, what a juke coming through. Now he's going to be sitting here trying to try it for this M1, but he will not be able to make it in time. Does not choose not to vault. Does, chooses to go for the rush. Will get the hit as well. And cannot get out of that pallet tour guide. Now we're we'll seeing it. Oh no! The check spots were coming through. And there's a down with eruption or going off as well. And the resets get found out. Nia gets hit immediately. He's now going back for that pickup, trying to get them as best he can. We see the immediate recovery. He will be grabbed off the jump. Running through, trying to poke him into the central hook where he knows they are working on those gens because he has a nasty five gen up top side. He is gonna make sure he can keep this. Sorry, it's a four gen top side. Okay, it's gonna break this pallet right here, but it does spot out the Kate hiding behind it. We'll be able to get their way around, and they might have another pallet to go through. No, they will take the hit and immediately run away. There is nothing that Kate can do. They have to skedaddle real quick going into this barren area of the wall. They do not have a lot of filler to play, and this is a dangerous area to play against a blight. And they run right into his open arms for the hit. And now we do have that pop still available. Will he choose to pop one of these jets? Yes, he will. Making his way back towards the cell gen, looking in towards the main, seeing what he can find. Does manage to spot out the ace and get the hit at the last second. Does still have pop as well, so that 30% of that. He has a hook and a slug in the middle of the map, but decides to go to the very top of it to interrupt the gen he had zero info on. See what we can do. He does see the unhook coming through almost immediately. And that is a deliverance play as well. Chunk is still on the ground, but that is also gonna be Swifty going down. Immediate pickup. And let's see, Chungus is still on the ground. How will they be able to get the unhook as the reset on him and get a pickup? We do spot out Ada as well. But Ada's about to get caught up. He did get the reset up, but now they're gonna be trading their lives for the Kates. Chungus is back up now. And they are riding, was unable to do the locker tech, tried it, but they did waste a couple seconds. Now he knows exactly where they are. This is going very well for the Blight. Unfortunately for the Surge, they still do not have a generator done. Chungus is down. Oh my gosh, he's waiting, he's picking up. There's the immediate pickup is gonna put him back onto this hook. And that is gonna be a first hook for the Blight, rushing away off to the races, making sure he can find whoever he wants. For his bunches, they try, oh my god, the immediate pickup, but an immediate down, and a free grab, and we did see the uh, unhook coming through, I'm not sure if that was Delhi, but that might have also been Renewal, no, Swifty was the one with Renewal, so Swifty was not the one with Delhi, unfortunately for him, but he did out, is fully healed, has managed to get off that health state, Palator guy is still on the ground, Looking for a partner to come rescue him. With Chung is being broken, he cannot be healed right now. So he needs to be working gens while Swifty gets for these rescues. He's looking around. Blaze is checking. Does see the area. Got a little bit of aura. Palator guides back up on the ground. We're going to get the bongos onto that with Pop Goes the Weasel. And he knows someone's around this main side. He probably can bet. That it is Swifty. That ace is coming through. And he sees this red scratch marks. Now he's chasing him down. And you mean to get him, but no, it's the Kate in this. It's Chungus in this area. Just managed to get the ball off inside, so now he's not able to get the hit. But we are holding those checks, but not well enough. He just runs straight past it. Now he won't be able to make his way through. He won't be able to make his way around. This should result in a quick down. Hopefully he can die in a quick corner of the map, but that will be a Pocos hit. Oh, the eruption coming through. We are trying to make this a 4K5. Now we are going to get this hook through and we are going to have a renewal of Pop Goes a Weasel. That eruption going off on all those gents. It was highly destructive. But there is a little bit of time before he can start applying that to those gents. He is going to be waiting that out. But that should only take about 10 more seconds. We'll be looking around seeing what he can find. And still not able, able to find anyone waiting for the eruption to come off cooldown before he kicks it. And right with perfect timing with Pop and eruption applied to that gen. 
This is incredibly difficult. We do have all four survivors back in this, but we do have a found out on pallet tour guy with the pallet stun coming through. Now he will be making his way back across. He will be taking this bump real quick, trying to find the aid of this. Firecracker is down. He does manage to bump that, does not manage to get the hit. But will that be a balance? No, it's not a balance landing. He's going to get hit here. And that is a down on Pallet Tour Guide. With a rupture going through all those jets. Those jets are getting even further progressed. But he does catch out Rezzy as well. Rezzy is unable to make his way around. He will be taking these doubts. Looking away. Seeing what he can find. But now he's in a bad area. No one wants to go against a plate right here. Oh my god. The dead heart coming through. He's killing it right now. Rezzy's trying to keep his team and put it on his back. He does have a pallet to play around right here. But the blight is not going to stop getting stunned. He is asked to drop chase right now to look for Tuggis and check out these gens up here. If he's aiming for this 4k5, making this damn near impossible. We do have the aura onto the Kate with Gearhead being active. We'll swing through but misses the Kate. Well played by Chuggis. Able to avoid that area. We do see the ace around here as well. Swifty trying to prevent this from going happening. He wants to keep that main gen, but they do need to get a gen done and fast. This is starting to look like a 4k power. 4k5, no matter. At first, the blight was looking to leave the area, but the moment he started seeing a slow vault through the wall, he rushes back at him. How much they want to try and slice again. But we do have Rezzy, they did get a reset on a uh, save on Pallet Tour Guide. Rezzy did get reset from his Madness State. We do spot out the Kate as well. We are trying to spread this injured around. We are going to take the hits all the way around. And we are going to be hitting... Ooh, the Poco Sit is going crazy with it. Oh my god, they're dealing with this exceptionally well. And we are seeing what we could do. He's currently chasing around, trying to queue up that Bloodlust. The Pallet Drop comes in finally. We are gonna see what we can do. And we'll see if he gets to the cake, does end up going down. And this will be it. Chug is getting sent back to the campfire, I believe. Yes, it is a first death. This is five jets with four hooks left. The first jet finally popping. That is tough. We do see another jet in Burger King, but he does miss that bump again. And we'll be looking around, seeing what he can do. However, he is unable. We'll be popping that, but no eruption. Eruption did get applied to that gen. We'll be looking around, seeing what he can find. All these survivors are currently injured. They are playing for gen pressure. It does get caught out. That looked like it was re it was Ada over there. Our pallet tour guide is trying to die in a corner of the map. He almost missed that bump. Honestly, I thought that was that looked like that was Poco's going crazy. Manage to press the space bar right at the last second. Well played by the Blight. We'll be looking around seeing what he can find. He does get the hook onto Power Tour Guide. And that will be the final hook. We do see second jet pop as well. He will we be able to get a third to make this a little bit more manageable for this killer to deal with. Does miss the bump right there. He's going immediately back towards main. Does spot out where the Nia is. We'll be chasing her down. She's trying to lead him away from main. I wonder if they're going to be focusing on getting that gen done. It is going to take the hit right there. But will main be being worked on? I don't think so. I don't know if main's going to be worked on. He will be checking this area. Doesn't hear anything over at main. Decides to leave it. See if he's going for a rescue. And we'll be looking around. Everyone is currently on death hook. Bro, how does he know exactly where I am, bro? How He knows exactly where I am. Okay. He gets build at the end. I can't. I'm dead here. After seeing all of this, I actually asked Damage himself to explain his place and after delaying for 4 hours he did end up joining a call but he had explanations for all of his place in those two games which seemed rather questionable to me. Since he only speaks Spanish I could not talk to him directly and had to work through a translator. His two team captains did not even find any of his place questionable at all. Now especially in a comp setting these people have practiced and don't deserve to be cheated out of their prize money by someone wall hacking in a tournament, which is why I'm making this video in the first place. Every high level player that I showed those two games to agreed that they are extremely weird. By the nature of it, it is impossible to get direct evidence unless we sit directly beside him while he's cheating. He did get his PC searched and nothing showed up, but this was after a couple hours of delaying from his side. Cheating is lame, especially when money is involved. Yeah, next time.